Marvel is reprinting their Marvel Zomnibus and not a moment too soon, my first print is hanging on by a thread. What's going on everybody, Gem Mint here, and today we're gonna take a look at the new printing for the Marvel Zomnibus. This has been out of print for some time now. It was one of the first Omnibus that I hunted down when I started my collection, and I think I got it off eBay or something. I don't know why I didn't return it due to the pages coming off of the ribbon like that. I just kind of dealt with it, and I actually read it front to back. It was like my third or fourth Omnibus. We're gonna take a look at the new printing and do some comparisons. It's all the same content, but we'll show you uh, the additions to the new printing and just flip through the pages and give an overall idea of the story. Now this doesn't come out until July 5th, so it's a super advanced look at this. Big shout out to Marvel Comics for sending us the early look. If you guys wanna pre-order this, check out organicpricebooks.com or to pick it up when it comes out. Just make sure to use code GEMMINT to save you two bucks every time. Let's jump into the overview. All right, so we have the first printing to my left, the new printing to my right. This is the regular cover, and then this is the direct market variant, and they're both done by Arthur Sudam. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but what this series was known for, at least to me, what really drew me to it was all of the early homages, man. All the zombified looks at like Amazing Fantasy 15 or Secret Wars 1. So both of these are still available for the new printings. Let's take a look at the spines here. So we have the Hulk 340 homage on the new printing, uh, same Secret Wars for the spine on the first print. Now the new printing is a little bit thinner, so could have just got you know thinner paper or we'll even look at the hardcover and you'll see the differences there. But the back of the dust jacket is exactly the same, still has a $125 cover price. Looks like it went a little bit higher for our Canadian friends. I'm sorry to hear that, but it does collect Marvel Zombies Dead Days, Marvel Apes Prime 8, Marvel Zombies Evil Evolution, Ultimate Fantastic Four 21 through 23 and 30 through 32, where we originally get the Marvel Zomniverse, as I guess you could call it. Uh, Marvel Zombies 1 through 5, Black Panther 28 through 30, Marvel Zombies 2 1 through 5. Marvel Zombies Returns 1 through 5, then Marvel Zombies 3 1 through 4, Marvel Zombies 4 1 through 4, and then Marvel Zombies 5 1 through 5, also collecting Marvel Zombies Supreme 1 through 5. So just to give a closer look at the issues that I was having with the first print, as you can see when you open up the spine, the pages are no longer glued to this interior ribbon, the inside of the dust jackets are the same. So a biography on the story, talking about Mark Miller, Robert Kirkman, Arthur Sudam, Greg Land, and the rest of the creative team. Now, big difference on the actual hardcover. The first printing had that classic black kind of faux leather with the foil logo. It has the green Marvel zombies and on the spine. The new printing though is cool. It is the X-Men 1 Jim Lee homage, all zombified. So I think that's actually a step up on the new printing. If you guys want to avoid that type of page separation, make sure to stretch that spine when you guys get a new hardcover, whether it's an Omni, Absolute, Deluxe Edition, Manga, whatever, to try to relax that spine to avoid any type of glue damage. Opening up to the green cover page, here we have nice artwork here. This is how all of our Marvel heroes look when they're zombified, they immediately get bad teeth. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, the credits here. We have an intro from Robert Kirkman, who was brought on to Marvel Zombies, probably because he wrote another small zombie comic book called The Walking Dead. You may have heard of it, uh, but was created by Mark Miller in the pages of Ultimate Fantastic Four, like I mentioned, where um, Reed Richards opens up a portal to that universe. With this omnibus, we're gonna get all those stories. We're gonna get a lot of homages and cover swipes. Here's the X-Men one as you can see from the outside of the hardcover. Uh, another introduction, zombified Mary Jane. I think the Spider-Man Mary Jane stuff was the craziest, try not to spoil it in the first page. But you know, this is what Robert Kirkman and Mark Miller do best, zombie stuff and Elseworlds tales. Like what if we had this zombie apocalypse in the Marvel Universe and as crazy as it wants to get is how it gets. They don't hold anything back. Like I said, the Peter Parker stuff is probably the most out there. And the Galactus stuff, I mean, it's just a big fun event. I do feel like 
the um, miniseries get progressively worse. <laughs> like Marvel Zombies, the first one is the best. And then it kind of just goes downhill from there. But um, the, the Marvel Zombie universe traveling from multiverse to multiverse in order to eat the brains of all the humans and just the character interactions in between and, and the humor to it as well, man. Uh, definitely a great read. Like I said, I read this thing front to back. It's got great artwork. It's got a lot of funny takes and it's got like out of left field. Didn't see them doing that type of scenarios in this book. So we're getting all of the cover A's prior to each issue. Like I said, a lot of them are homages. Let's flip to the back and take a look at the variant gallery, which thankfully this omnibus does have. So once you get through all the content, we can see the cover homage for X-Men 141, Days of Future Past. We have X-Men 137, classic cover, Cap 1, Zombified, uh, Marvel Graphic Novel 1, Death of Captain Marvel, Iconic X-Men 268, was that J Jim Lee and Scott Williams, Cap 100, Wolverine 1. Before I started the channel, I was new to Instagram. I was collecting uh, all these Marvel Zombies variants. I was getting them in 9.8s, and it was just a fun thing to collect. Look at Deadpool doing Wolverine 1 as well. And look at this, even back then, doing album covers, Nirvana and Silence of the Lambs. So a lot of nice uh, bonuses in the back, as you would expect. Some sketches as well. Yeah, but there we go. All right, everyone, it's time for the April That's Spider-Man Booth subscription box. You get over $100 in retail value. That's five comic books, store exclusives, and ratio variants. You get access to monthly giveaways, membership-only store, and, of course, two exclusive covers limited to this box. You'll receive a copy of The Exiled, number one, which is the new Wesley Snipes book on What Not Publishing. This one pays homage to Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. There are only 300 trade dress in existence, 200 virgins, 200 foils, and 100 medals. The second one is Ninja Funk issue four with this beautiful Akira homage, 200 regular editions, 100 foils, and 50 medals. Swing on over to that spidermanbooth.com and sign up for the subscription box today. All right, guys, there we have it. Let me know what you think about the new Marvel Zomnibus in the comments down below. Is this a pickup for you or is it a pass? Again, big thanks to Marvel. Big thanks to Organic Price Books. Stay minty fresh. Peace.